Emily drew it. <laughs> she loved the story of me being found on my mom's doorstep. The Barbie movie as we know it almost didn't happen. Mattel plowed through a laundry list of writers, directors, and stars for a decade. At one point, it was an Amy Schumer vehicle with a quote, girl boss feminist twist that fell through because of... Was it that it didn't feel feminist and cool when you were involved in it? It was yeah. a little... Yes. Yeah. Right. The truth is, the landscape of toy to movie adaptations is littered with tiny plastic corpses, like the icy open air graveyard that is Mount Everest. Ah, you sunk my battleship! And today, we're doing inventory on the most tragic casualties of toy company ambition. This is Cannonball. Number five, Ridley Scott's Monopoly. As originally envisioned, this was going to be a futuristic Blade Runner-esque satire directed by Ridley Scott. Uh, uh, f you, f you, thank you very much. F you, go f yourself. Picture this, a Manhattan real estate bro who sucks at his job, but is great at Monopoly, gets Jumanji'd into the game and has to face off against the evil Parker brothers. Hasbro wanted to go heavy on the gameplay, focusing on everybody's favorite part of Monopoly, rolling the dice. Scott tried to convince them that the cool part of their game is how it transforms game night into a civil war, but they weren't having it and the plan fell through. Most recently, Kevin Hart has been threatening to produce and star in a Monopoly film of some sort, <coughs> but no solid details have really emerged. Number four, Adam Sandler's Candyland. <coughs> In 2012, Adam Sandler nearly teamed up with Robert Smigel, better known as Triumph the Insult Comic Dog, I'm humping the legs of the cast of On Golden Bond, to whip up a movie about Candyland. You don't have to know how to read or count to have loads of fun in Candyland. Columbia Pictures' announcement held some hints that this sh was never gonna happen. Specifically, they referred to it as a family adventure film for kids and families everywhere. Okay, buddy, good luck getting a family comedy out of this guy. Hey, here we go. Here, have some of this. You'll feel better. And this guy. You fucker. On the other hand, look at Gloppy. You can already hear that signature Sandler gibberish dribbling out of his goopy maw. In 2014, that big Sony hack revealed that the head of Sony Pictures called Sandler, quote, an ass-hile for demanding $200 million to make the film. Sandler later signed an exclusive deal with Netflix and the whole thing fell apart. Gloppy had to die so that Hubie Halloween might live. A fair trade if you ask me. <laughs> Number three, Paul Feig's Play-Doh movie. Feig is the guy behind Freaks and Geeks, so I'm guessing this movie would have been something like watching Mr. Bill struggle mightily to lose his virginity. Fox originally announced this as a live action movie, a live action Play-Doh movie. Feig was able to convince them that their movie about clay should be claymation. Now the good news is he says it's in heavy development. The bad news, that's actually not good news at all. That's a diplomatic way of saying it's stuck in purgatory and will probably never get made. Play-Doh is the only item on this list that isn't gluten free, but it's not the only edible toy we'll be covered. Number two. Danny DeVito's Stretch Armstrong. Stretch Armstrong is filled with corn syrup, by the way. You could probably make a nice jam with his guts in a pinch. Disney bought the movie rights to Stretch Armstrong in 1994, but they hated every script that came their way that relied on slapstick jokes about stretchy extremities. What they wanted was, quote, a Tim Allen kind of single dad. Now, depending on the year, that might mean America's favorite goofball, conservative pearl clutcher, or drug dealing snitch. Anyway. In this version, a dork-ass dad, basically nutty professors himself, becomes stretchy and hilarity ensues. Tim Allen wasn't interested, but you know who was? Danny the damn Vito. Do not diddle kids, it's no good diddling kids. But DeVito turned it down when they said they couldn't make a Stretch Armstrong movie starring Danny DeVito without making any jokes about his height. It went through a few more iterations, starring either Taylor Lautner or Jackie Chan. In one version, Stretch was a superhero who would Yuck, stretched the limits of what was possible to become all that he can be. Then there was a more self-serious version that sounds kind of like if James Bond became the mask. And in the last known version, a man named Lucas Armstrong is a gritty action hero pit against life or death consequences, which I'm guessing means like, the microwave? Most consequences mean death for the world's squishiest, most fragile action figure. Number one, Nerf. Nerf is on the short list of toy movies that have been manically declared in development in the wake of Barbie. I'm gonna level with you here. There are exactly zero details about this movie. 
all we really know for sure is that it won't be as legendary as it could be. And that's because a Brooklyn Nine-Nine writer who goes by Van the Brand on Twitter already pitched the perfect idea and they turned it down. He described his premise in a viral tweet. Get a Rock, a Hemsworth, any action star. Hire a great action director and do a normal action movie. But every weapon's a Nerf weapon. Never address it and play it all straight. If Barbie as a concept represents the utopian society we could all be living in if only women and men were given the same opportunities from childhood, then Nerf is about how sick it would be if you could just light people up and it didn't hurt and no one got in trouble. What's up guys, Jesse here. Thanks for watching Cannonball. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know the absolute most bad kids toys and board games that might just be the next Barbie. Come on, who's starring in the Yahtzee movie? Or like, is Chris Pratt gonna voice that weird little water sleeve we all got at the Scholastic Book Fair and didn't wrap around our tiny little <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> got it. Going to jail.